Hey guys, Trent here coming at you with another video. So we did some Saturday yard sailing. Uh, Joy got some good stuff and I got some good stuff. We made a combined deal and we'll take a look and see what we got. So if you're new to my channel, welcome in. My name is Trent. I'm a part-time reseller on eBay. I do it for fun and profit and I take you along for the journey. So please hit that subscribe button for more great videos in the future. Yeah, so we spent what, maybe like a total we went to several yard sales. The footage is going to be on her channel, the Joy's Beagle Blogs. You can check it out uh, and the stuff that she kept. Uh, but this is the stuff that I'm keeping, minus a few Pepsi items Joy's going to grab. Uh, we had a big vintage Pepsi lot here we're going to show you. So first off, let me show you some my honorable mentions. So one of the yard sales, there was dollar Blu-rays, right? So I picked out a, a stack here. I got a National Treasure 2, Nicolas Cage. Uh, here's one that Joy picked out, uh, four film favorites, all the Batmans, bat the, the 90s Batmans, nice little collection there. It's pretty good for a dollar, right? We got Schwarzenegger Eraser, we got the uh, Transporter 1 and 2, here's an interesting one, Forbidden Planet, uh, Leslie Nielsen, Walter Pigeon, uh, that's a pretty old one, it's pretty neat. Then I think I got all the Transformers, there's four of them here, there's Revenge of the Fallen, Dark of the Moon, Age of Extinction, and the Transformers. That's pretty cool. Then uh, one, I don't know if this is a TV show or what, I'd never heard of this, Ex Machina. So I just picked that up because it looked interesting and never heard of it. Got some uh, $1.50 video games, uh, Marvel vs. Capcom 3, Red Dead, uh, Red Dead Redemption, Gears of War 3, and Batman Arkham City. If these are worth reselling, I will, but otherwise I'll just hang on to them, you know, for collection stuff. Uh, picked up a phone. It was $2, I think. It's just a VTech phone, handset, the base unit and everything. Because, you know, we were making a bunch of deals, kind of, so I was just grabbing stuff to throw in. Then we went to one yard sale. There was a lot of fishing stuff, right? Uh, so. They can watch that. They can, you guys can watch on my blog some other stuff that I picked. To yeah, keep. the fishing stuff. Yeah, uh, and she the lore. Kept, she kept a lot of the good fishing stuff, but I picked out this item because this is a. Uh, I think it's yeah, it's vintage. This is a Ted Williams model number. You have to check this out. Ted Williams model number five three five dot three eight four nine zero. Sold by Sears, Roebuck and Company. This is a baitcaster reel. I think this is worth good money. Uh, they wanted five bucks for it. Uh, I think I might have hit a little jackpot with this one, so we'll see. Here's what the the logo face looks like. Then we got some shirts from the fishing people. Uh, I think these are pretty good to resell. They're official Bass Pro reshop, uh, bro, uh, Bass Pro shop, extra large shirts. There's one. Bass to the bone. <laughs> Bass to the bone. These have the not vintage, but I think they might be worth reselling for a few bucks. We'll see. If not, I can always wear them. And this one's just one for me. Uh, <laughs> my Sunday finest uh, Yoda, what does it say? My finger pull? Yep. <laughs> and then I got a pair of shorts in there. These are pretty nice little shorts. Utility, I don't know if the brand is a real brand name, but cool cargo utility shorts. For you? So for me, yeah. Those okay. are only uh, $2. And so we got a huge Pepsi lot. So let me show you that stuff. I'm going to get the camera and Joy can show this stuff here. Okay. All right. So uh, he wanted 20 bucks for all this stuff. Uh, what was it? A uh, son and a, the, the mom and dad were there. They're in their 80s and they're they're moving and they wanted to sell their stuff. They're moving to Tennessee. Tennessee. Yeah. So yeah. here's a, I mean, all this stuff I think is vintage. I'm pretty sure. They, they are all vintage because they are the, the dad uh, collecting all this Pepsi, they have one bar that all, yeah, Pepsi, all Pepsi and Coca-Cola. Yeah, like these ones here are the, uh, you know, the 90s Ray Charles slogan, you got the right one, baby, uh, the, the com from the commercial. Uh, there's 12 of those. Um, yeah, I got one in the inside. Yeah, and these these have barcodes on them, so I'm not sure about these, but they I think they may still be, they're pretty old if they're not from the 90s. But this uh, Pepsi crate right here, you, 
I'm pretty sure it's worth pretty good money by itself. Uh, I so said that, it's seven to five dollars. Probably that this stuff like this will pay for the whole entire lot, anyways, right here. And we got this style. Uh, yeah, missing three. Here's a a can holder thing, can go cooler. I don't know how old this is, but it's still pretty cool. Here's some old uh, unopened bottles. This one's from two, 1996. Coca-Cola, Lady Volunteers. These ones look even older. These are Pepsi, uh, seven ounce Pepsis. Uh, got two of those. They don't They don't make those anymore, the seven ounces. No, I've never seen that. That yeah. looks before my time. That, yeah. That's probably because maybe they, 80s, I don't they know. They said it Pepsi-Cola. Pepsi, they mix it. Yeah. With Here's a big goblet style. It has some something going on with it. Might not clean. try to do anything with that. Then I like these uh, goblet styles right here, these Pepsi Cola ones. I got a set of four of those. Those are pretty nice. Then I got a set of four of these uh, big tall, whoop, big tall ones here, Pepsi Cola. Set of four of those here. Then all these here are Pepsi Celebration. We got 2000, 2003, 2002, 1999, 1996, Pepsi Fest West 1997, Pepsi Celebration 2004. So there's like a little set of these Pepsi Celebration, you know, collector's glasses. That's kind of neat. And a couple, uh, these don't look super old, but they're pretty cool because they, I think that's the new, the more of the new style logo, two uh, little mugs there. So all that Pepsi stuff, plus one glass that Joy already grabbed for 20 bucks. What do you guys think? You think that's a pretty good deal? Yes, that's <laughs> a pretty good deal. So I what, think I definitely gonna make some money on anymore. that. Yeah, that's uh, I remember that very specifically from the commercial with Ray Charles. Okay, I sold this little Nerf lot. Oh, and it's supposed to be this too with 30 darts. So we have this Nerf Elite Target. It was working good. With, uh, I threw in two Elite Disruptors and two little pistols. One's a Nerf Jolt, and this is a generic brand called Zero. And 30 darts. This lot here sold $37.86 total paid by the customer. I think I'm gonna throw in this box and just cut it down, Frankenstein it down a little bit. Actually, now the target doesn't fit too well, so I'll keep it upright and just throw the other blasters in the side. Get our darts and our little pistols in there. Kind of running. I need to get some more peanut, peanut, uh, air bubble, peanut style packing materials. I think I got some. Just need to bust it out. Maybe a four pounder. All right, guys. Well, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know about any interesting eBay tips, tricks, finds, or just leave a comment down in the comment section to say hi. Always appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed the video and have a good one.